my name is Allison Lang and for those of you that don't know I am a below knee amputee. So today I will be assembling my new running leg. They sent it to me. The shipment took I think like three to four days tops. They chatted with me online, got me prepared for what size of blade, which is incredible. Also, I've never had any prosthetics shipped directly to me now that I think of it. Yeah, it's true. I've been an amputee for 28 years. I've always had to go through the healthcare system asking my prosthetist if I can and do qualify for a new leg. Levitate's whole goal is to make sports accessories like this prosthetic blade more accessible to people. So you can actually order one online yourself. It's probably the most reasonably priced prosthetic I've ever seen on paper. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking and sadly enough. Okay, when you first open the box, there is the beautiful blade itself in all its glory. And they actually have a QR code right here. You can scan it with your phone and then it gives you a YouTube video of a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to assemble this foot by yourself. Like, look at this blade. She is a beaut. This is also everything else that comes in the box. So you have um, a wrench, a screwdriver, all your screws, and then all the different attachments depending on how long you need to make your prosthetic leg. You have to look at what kind of bolt is here and pair it so you're facing the metal pieces upwards in the proper manner. So for example, it would insert like that. So you're gonna start by holding your levitate blade upwards and aligning these holes here. So four holes, you're gonna align with the, these four holes. Empty my whole bag of screws onto the table. And then you're gonna plop the four screws that I came with right into here. And then you're gonna grab the four washers and screw them under the screws. It's so nice that I came with all of the screws and all of the tools that you need to build this. It's like the Ikea of legs. You have your little screwdriver and your little wrench that it came with. Use them both to tighten all four. <laughs> I'm a tool too. You can see the bottom of these screws, so they actually added these plastic covers, so you can just add them right to the bottom, just to clean it up and have it look super, super sharp. Because I know how short my residual limb is, I know roughly how high I need to build the metal rod. So now that we have this first metal piece on, all we're gonna do is insert this piece right here, and then you have four holes that you're going to fill with these little bolts. See, I drop everything. And once all four of these bolts are in, you can go ahead and tighten it, and then you can adjust the overall angle of the leg once you have it on. If you're not sure how high you need your prosthetic foot, you can put this extendable piece into it. So if you need to just tighten it just by a few centimeters, even to like one and a half inches, it's totally doable. Rest that right on top. Be sure that the knee is aligned. So be sure that the knee is aligned where the foot is facing forward. And then same thing, you're gonna grab four more bolts and put them into the holes and tighten. See, I drop it every time. Ugh. So excited, I can't believe I built them so by myself. Can't wait to call my prosthetist and be like, guess what I did, I also built a leg. <laughs> Voila, there is the final piece. Now I can run, now I can do all these sports and I'm so excited that I built this all on my own. Ciao for now.